Thanks for watching WCCO and CBS News Minnesota. In the last few minutes, we learned that Minneapolis will release body camera video of a deadly police shooting later on tonight. Officers served a search warrant in a St. Paul murder case of a downtown apartment building yesterday morning. Investigators say they loudly announced themselves as they entered a unit, uh, unit at Bolero Flats. Police say 22-year-old Amir Locke pointed a gun in their direction and an officer shot and killed him. But as WCCO's Esme Murphy explains, there are a number of questions about what happened. Perhaps the most basic question, what is the difference between a search warrant and an arrest warrant? A search warrant is signed by a judge and it allows the police to search a location. Search warrants can be for a person in order to obtain something like DNA. An arrest warrant is always for an individual. In this case, police say Amir Locke had a gun in his hand. So is it legal to have a gun inside a residence? Yes, as long as you're not a felon. We checked, and Amir Locke does not have any criminal record in the state of Minnesota. Some people are also asking, does it make a difference if a search warrant is for an apartment or a single family home? No, there is not. But leases at most apartments do allow first responders in. We checked that too, and leases at Bolero Flats do have a clause that allows the apartment building to allow police and fire in without the permission of the resident, basically at any time and for any reason. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. And again, we are expecting to see footage of the shooting tonight. Sources told WCCO that the Locke family viewed it already this afternoon.